Hello YouTube, my name's Simon. Uh, I'm going to give you some more tips on buying uh, a used motorhome. This is part two. Um, we still haven't moved inside the van, we're still outside. The first video gave you some tips on how, to, what to look for to see how your van has been looked after by its previous owner. Just a few tips. And in this video, you don't have to be a mechanic to check what I'm going to show you. Um, all you have to do is be willing to have a look, you know. And the, the first tip I can give you, when you flick the bonnet, you know, set the bonnet up, have a look underneath it and take off the, uh, the water cap, the radiator cap if you will, it's like an expansion tank. Uh, and what you're looking for is oil in that water or on the top of the water. And to check, take the lid off, put your finger in and have a look, feel it. See if there's any oil there, have a look in it. And if there's oil in there, there's a crack in the cylinder head. That's the reason that oil has seeped into the water. So uh, just always just check, it's only a cap, take it off, put your finger in, have a look, make sure that it's either just water, ideally it should be antifreeze, which is a summer coolant these days, it's antifreeze and a summer coolant, so you can have it in all year round. So if it's a funny colour like green or brown or red, that doesn't matter. That could be just coolant, uh, summer coolant, winter antifreeze. Which shows it's being looked after. There should definitely be no oil in there whatsoever. Uh, so that's, you, that's what you're looking for in the water. Um, take the lid off the oil. Um, and when you're looking at that lid, you're looking for gunk, white, white, frothy, uh, gunk, you know, the oil's not been changed for a long time. Uh, it should be nice and clean, really. When you put that on, take the dipstick out, have a look at the oil, you know, and just see if it's nice and fresh and clean. And you know, obviously, it's had an oil change. Um, to check the condition of the oil, uh, and then just have a general look around the actual engine itself, uh, you know, and just make sure everything looks as it should. Uh, but it's only a few tips. I know, I know, I, I'm not an expert. At, by any stretch of the imagination but there's a couple of things you should look for oil in the water and then have a look at the actual condition of the oil take the lid off the, the oil cap off and have a look make sure it's not white and gunk and horrible and spongy liquid and all sorts and then so and then you move from there to the outside of the van and when I said check the windows what you're looking for is any cracks and chips in the windows because these windows are not cheap if you've got to buy one if you take it away oh, there's a crack in the window find out first and get it replaced by the person you're buying it off hopefully you're buying it from a dealer that you can get it back to that, that's got nice reviews on uh, you know on Google or whatever decent reviews they've been there a long time and check all the way around every seam of every window make sure it fits snug not that it's been smashed and replaced with something that sort of fits it should fit absolutely perfect it's, you know it should be absolutely flush every line should be perfect in that window uh, and check them all, all the windows, all the way around. Uh, and then, if you can get on the roof like mine with a ladder, go up on the roof and have a look, and have a look at this, these skylights. Make sure they look all right. Open them up, you know. Just So you, you, all you're doing at the minute is you're outside the van, having a look. You haven't even moved inside yet. You're checking outside. The first video was the tyres and checking out, and this video is just showing you a few more tips on the outside of the vehicle. You haven't even moved in there yet. So, uh, once you're happy with how everything looks, the lockers, uh, are all the locks, are they locking, do they look alright, um, are they terribly rusted or whatever, you know, it's a used motorhome I'm giving you tips on buying, so that's what you're looking for. Uh, and if you're happy with everything outside, then you should move inside. So, if there's something outside you're not happy with, write it down, pen and paper, you and your partner or whatever, write things down as you walk around the van. And then as you go in the van, you're looking for a list of faults, every fault you can find. And then if the, if the person you're buying it from is willing to sort every single fault out, and they do, no problem. Which they probably may do, you know, I, I'm not knocking anybody. They might just say, uh, when, you buy it, when you're looking around, oh, this wind is not right, we'll replace that one for you. Oh, okay, thanks very much. And that's what you're looking for. So, and then obviously you move into, if you're happy with everything outside and it looks as it should, uh, wing mirrors are not cracked and light lenses look okay, 
um, registration plates have not got a crack in them and water seeping in and you know just look at everything outside and then get yourself on the inside and, and then have a, sort that out uh, have a look there